Hello, hello, happy Friday everybody, it's Friday. Welcome to my channel, I'm Stephanie, we're in my sewing room, and welcome to Friday Sews, a little bit of sewing, a little bit of life. I have an announcement, I have cut the fabric that is too good to cut. Now, I've talked about this a couple times. I believe it started when I was doing Frugal Sews the first time. Frugal Sews is going on right now, and I just um, have a video coming out about it soon. So the, the thing is, we're to look in our stash to make something out of a free pattern. That's part of Frugal Sews. And the very first year I did it, I looked through my stash and I found this fabric, this fabric. I don't even remember buying it. I've had this forever. I don't know. I know for sure more than 10 years, for sure. Could be more than 20. It could be more than 30. Like, I don't remember buying this. I kind of remember, and I feel like, I feel like it was before I moved here and I've lived here 35 years. <laughs> did I drag a bunch of fabric up here? I don't think I had a lot of fabric, so who knows, but I've had it a long time. Oh my gosh, I just had to come on real quick because I was looking through some old videos trying to find out if I had this fabric, just kind of in curious and I found one. So this was a cleanup of my old sewing room before this decorated sewing room. And I was going through the fabrics and I was getting rid of stuff. And I came across this too good to cut fabric. And I'm like, oh, I'll just get rid of this. And then I'm like, no, I'm putting it back. <laughs> that was six years ago. And even in that video, I said, I've had this for years. I just, I just had to share. So if you want to see that video, it's kind of funny. Um, I'll put a link right up here. <laughs> I've sent a share. And I just thought it was beautiful. And you know what? When I, when I think about it, I think, oh my gosh, why did I buy that? Why would I ever use that? And then I look at it and I'm like, it's so pretty. It's still pretty. I still think this is lovely. So I just thought I, it's too good to cut. Uh, not anymore. I cut it. It's cut. So this is just what's left over. I'm actually got a dress in the works and it's going to be my Easter dress and it's not my frugal sews dress. I have another dress for frugal sews. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have so much to share. You just have to, you just have to come back. If you're not subscribed, what? Hit that subscribe button because I've got some stuff coming up. Really fun things I, wa I want to share. I want to share right now. Um, I had my nails done this color because I thought it would show off this color. Easter. So this is going to be my Easter dress. It's not quite done, but it's very promising. So I'll show that next Friday and uh, hopefully <laughs> show that next Friday. So come back. But can I just show you the moment? I videotaped the moment of cutting this fabric. I want to share it because it was a big moment for me. This fabric is no longer in my stash. Here we go. Well, I'm in my sewing room and I'm making a decision and usually I make these decisions and I'm like, I should have filmed that. They want to see this. So I pulled out my too good to cut fabric and that is this and it's from Joann's and it's not very wide, but I did buy a lot of it. So my question is, can I make the Zalia dress out of this because, oh my gosh, love that dress. And I wore it today and I got so many compliments that I think, could this too good to cut fabric, could it be my Easter dress? It's got that cottony, linen-y feel to it. I don't know what it is, it's a mystery. I know it's been washed and dried. So there you have it. So here's how I figured it out. I laid the fabric down. And this piece is the back, and I'm gonna need to cut two. It does not need to be on a fold, so it can be however I want it to be. So that's gonna go right there. And so I just kind of folded that up, because I'm not cutting anything in this, I know for sure. And this is the front. So this is kind of where you caught me. I set that there, okay? So let's kind of fold that up a little bit, and let's see what we have left here to work with. I have this piece, which is a sleeve. It's the glorious sleeve. Hold on, I got a couple more pieces. Oh, this is the short sleeve. This is the long sleeve. I don't want this. One sleeve, please. So this is the sleeve. This is the hem facing um, back, hem facing front. 
and that's going to need to go this direction so it needs to go like this and this needs to go see that arrow is going this direction so that needs to go like that pockets I could make this out of some cotton it doesn't have to be out of this fabric it doesn't show this is the arrow right here so it's going to go like that so this has to go like this and then this has to go here so here's the problem with this pretty much all of this could be with something else but this has to be with this fabric um, this is the binding so I'm just going to set all of these aside and just see if I have enough to make the dress front and back and sleeves with this pattern with this fabric so this sleeve is too wide for this see how it's going off by this much that's too much to even trim it down so what I'm thinking is cutting it single layer here and here. So I just need to know if I have enough fabric for that. And the answer is yes. And then with whatever little pieces are left, we'll see if I can get some of these cut out. One of my theories on that is on these kind of pieces, since they don't need to be on the fold, what I'll do is I'll put them to the edge as much as can. There's not a lot of edge here because this design ends right here and then there's this much fabric just sitting there. So I'll just scoot it over to the edge of the design, um, maybe just a little bit beyond so the seam allowance can be in here, but I want this design fully. And that will leave me just a little bit here, which is on the fold, so it's, you know, it's twice as long. Doesn't really help me with those things, but, um, on my green dress, I ran out of fabric for the hem facings, and so they're supposed to go this way, but I did them this way. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. So I might play around with that. I do believe I'll be able to get the pockets out of this, but I'm not sure I even want the pockets in this because that this is a raised, it's kind of bulky. So lots of questions, but I'm going to cut this mystery fabric that I have had in my stash for longer than I can remember. Longer than I've been filming, longer than I've been blogging because it's always in the pictures. <laughs> so, uh, when that moment happens, I will take you straight to the actual cutting. I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. <laughs> Too late to turn back now. So just to confirm, this is the salvage edge. This is the cut edge. So my arrow is pointing this way, right, right here. So I'm good. And we're just gonna cut it. I'll have all of this left over. I think pretty much it'll fit all of that. I have all of that, some of that. That was crazy. It was crazy because once I got to cutting, it was just like cutting anything. And I knew that the dress uh, I picked had already been tested and tr definitely tried and true was going to work out for me. It was the, um, the Zalaria dress, which is beautiful. And I showed that last week, I think. Anyways, beautiful dress. So I knew this was going to work out. And um, I'm, just, I'm just really excited to see how it goes. Uh, my test so far just you know how you try on, on along the way is just gonna be gorgeous So I'm excited to wear this. I just hope the weather holds up wherever you are I hope the weather holds up so that we can all wear our Easter dresses without you know being cold or rained on <laughs> That's what I'm looking at here could be cold could be rained on. I don't know. So uh, anywho I cut it Do you have a piece of fabric that's too good to cut? Can I just encourage you to let it go? I have another piece up there that every time I show it, you guys say, use that piece. 
Um, so you probably know which one it is. It's coming. I'm going to cut that too. I, nothing's too good to cut, you guys. Nothing is too good to cut. And I've proved it. I have a bunch of this left over. I'm, I'm not letting go of these scraps. These are going to be something else. They have to be. They're just so, this fabric is so lovely. It's so lovely. Uh, it was from Definitely Joann's. It's kind of got a linen feel to it. It could be a linen blend, but then it's got all this um, beautiful, like, um, embroidery or, you know, just design. It's just gorgeous. And a few of these have come loose and I sewed them back down and not hard, just kind of hand sewed it back down. And so it's just going to mm, love this color. Obviously, love this color. So, it's cut. That's what I have to say about that. I'll set it right here so you can watch that. Next up is my Frugal Sews entry, and I am so, I want to talk about it right now. I have so much to say. Come back. Um, I think that's supposed to post on Sunday. If that's the case, I'll be posting on Monday. I'm not going to post on Easter uh, Sunday. That's uh, just be, to be reverent. I'm not going to post it on Sunday, but I'll post it on the next day. Oh, I can't wait. I'll leave it at that. Leave it at that. Okay, so. On the personal front, I have exciting news. Well, it's exciting to me. <laughs> I bought a greenhouse. I have been thinking about this for a couple months and I'm just really, really excited to get this greenhouse. And it'll be nice for when next year when I have seedlings and uh, things that I wanna shelter from weather. I'm just excited, but mostly it's just gonna be so stinking cute, pretty, whatever, lovely. <laughs> um, I, I have a place picked out for it. Hubby's, Hubby's on board. He I looked and looked and I showed him a few that I was looking at and we ended up picking out the very first one I looked at, which was from Costco. I'm going to show you a picture. He picked it. Like, I wanted him to pick. He's the one who has to put it together. It comes in a kit. So uh, he liked it because they shipped here and um, he can put that together and he liked it. So um, my sister-in-law saw it in... Um, Costco and she's my gardening guru and she said that looked good. She approved. <laughs> so I'm all thumbs up on that. So I should have news on that. And you know, on that front, are we already connected on social media? Because I'm going to be posting a lot about the details behind putting, getting that, uh, putting that up. I mean, stuff I can never show on here on these videos. It would take up too much time. So if you're not already like following me on Instagram or Facebook, come follow me. I will be, I will be showing the heck out of that greenhouse and more 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 so i look forward to seeing you there we'll just have some more inter in between video visiting how about that <laughs> so it's holy week it's here i can't believe it's here already and um tonight is it's thursday i'm filming today on thursday is holy thursday so this church tonight is about the lord's supper and um you know he's he's about to go to the cross and it's super sad and then friday the saddest day uh the crucifixion so good friday and i'll be going to my church for a um we call it Stations of the Cross. If you're not Catholic, you might want to find a Catholic church and go to this because um, they go around Jesus' journey to the cross and our high school will be acting it out. And on the Good Friday, most churches have something like that, a live um, journey of Jesus' journey. It, it, will, it just makes you cry. It's beautiful. So uh, we do watching that. I'll be going to that. And then Good Friday service, which is dark and solemn and sad and you know Jesus isn't there you know he's he's he hasn't risen yet so tomorrow we'll be you know just kind of reflecting on that and you know our part in that because he died for me and he did died for you and he died for us so that's that's our that's our cross too to bear so tomorrow good friday and then he rises so Easter, Resurrection Day, He is risen. So in in the in the in the thought that you'll see this anytime after Friday, then I want to wish you happy Easter. And just hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful weekend with family, friends. Um, just it's such a blessed day. It's such a happy, happy day. Happy, happy, happiest day happiest day. So I will be hopefully in my Easter dress. I know I will because it's turning out. 
unless I do something really horrible. I'll be wearing my Easter dress, rain or shine, r warm or cold. I'm wearing it, I'm wearing it bare-legged because it won't look good with leggings. Not this color, come on, you guys. So my daughter said, I said, I'm gonna be bare-legged whether it's cold or not. And she said, well, if it makes you feel any better, I'll be bare-legged too. <laughs> oh, I'll put my coat on over it, right? So I will be inside, but we usually go outside to take pictures. So we'll just suck it up and just like act like we're nice and warm. Oh my gosh, you know my husband's a photographer. Okay, I'm gonna veer off, warning. Uh, my husband's a photographer and he does all kinds of photography, but he does a lot of weddings and I was assisting him on one up in the mountains and it was a winter wedding and the bride was wearing this, she was an old, older bride and she was just doing it her way and she had the really pretty dress and she had this, like a fur capelet. It was great. And so we went outside into this beautiful rocky area and ev all the girls were just freezing. So we had a bunch of blankets. And so instead of helping hubby with photos, I was the blanket person. So I would hold all the blankets and then as in between shots when he was looking at his camera, I'd run over with the blankets and they would throw them on. Ah! And then I would throw, give me back the blankets, take some more pictures. So that's going to be us on Easter, right? We're going to be like, but we always like to take an Easter picture with our family. So I'm gonna encourage you to take an Easter picture with your family. You're probably wearing your Easter dress or something lovely. So as a photographer, I'm gonna tell you, these are the moments. You're gonna be thinking about that food that you're gonna be fixing and everybody's gonna be, no, stop. Take a picture with your family. Whoever's there, whoever's there, it doesn't matter who's missing, just take a picture, okay? For me, take that picture, you won't regret it. You won't regret it. There's this, um, oh my gosh, I'm going to veer off again. I don't know if this will make the video. They get really long if I do this. But there was this um, article about people not wanting to have their picture taken, mostly moms. Uh, you know, you, you know, being a mom kind of takes a lot out of us. We're not that young girl anymore, the carefree girl with the, with the, with this, with this, amazing body and, you know, youth and all of that. We, we end up with this mom and we don't feel like, that's good enough for some reason and a lot of women will run from the camera so you know the holidays happening and she's just never in the picture and the story was talking about that and there was a um, a family and the mom had passed and they couldn't find any pictures of her she just kept hiding from the camera and i will tell you that that is not a good enough reason to say you don't want your picture taken just let it go it's not for you um there was a um I think I talked about this last week, like a TikTok where it said that we are the ghosts of our children's future and our grandchildren's future. So be in the picture. Lecture over. I don't always feel like I look in the picture either. <laughs> I have right of refusal. If I see a picture I don't like, I'm like, delete that one. I would be happy to pose for a better one where I'm like sucking it all in and stuff. <laughs> okay, okay, that's it. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching my channel. I appreciate you so much, and I hope you're having a lovely weekend, and I uh, will see you very soon with my frugal sews, so please come back. Hit that um, little bell. If you do, if you are subscribed and you hit the little bell, it will notify you when I make a new video, so you're going to want to see this. You're just going to want to see this. I'm not hyping it up for no reason. I'm excited, excited to share. So I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Have a happy, happy Easter. Have a blessed day. Bye now.